At some point, if you live in this life, you're going to face disappointment. You're going to face defeat. You're going to face devastation. Some bad things going to happen to you. That's life. You're going to get some setbacks. You're going to lose some loved ones. Now, whatever you've been through, whatever that is, guess what? You're still here. You have a great life in front of you. But your great life is in front of you. It's not behind you. Everything you're going through is preparing you for what you ask God for. You just got to quit tripping while you're in the process. Because the process is necessary. You may not see it now, but when he gets you on the other side of it, you're going to see exactly why it went that way. And you're going to be okay with it. Pull yourself together and quit tripping because you're in the process. God is processing you. He ain't through with you. If he was through with you, you would not wake up in the morning. I don't care how dark it looks to you. I don't care what they just said to you. I don't care what the verdict is. I don't care what the haters say. It ain't over. No matter what happens to you, it ain't over. Ain't no such a thing as over. Do you know, man, that you can actually mess your life completely up? You can jack it all the way up and you can turn around and get it right. Do you know that you can be divorced multiple times and still be okay? Do you understand that you cannot have a degree and still be just fine? What you did back there ain't got nothing to do with what God got for you. What you did back there was learn the lessons to get you to where you are at this particular moment right here. Keep on pushing. I'm telling you what, there is breakthrough coming and when you're holding your prize, the pain and the suffering will pale in comparison. Don't give up. It will be worth it. If you're tired of starting over, stop quitting. If your life at times feels like, looks like labor, you are doing it right. The harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. See, what you become in the process is more important than the dream. That's far more important. The kind of person you become, the character that you build, the courage that you develop, the faith that you're manifesting. Oh, it's, it's just something that you get up in the morning, you look yourself in the mirror, you're a different kind of person. You walk with a different kind of spirit. And people know that you know what life is, that you have embraced life. You know it was hard, but you did it hard. Maybe being weary doesn't mean you're weak. We're in hell right now. And we can stay here, get the shit kicked out of us, or we can fight our way back into the light. We can climb out of hell, one inch at a time. I am sick and tired of people coming to me saying that they had a setback. It is a part. I love the sun, but things don't grow because of the sun. You have to have some rain. And you've got to stop looking at rain in your life as something bad. Let me tell you something. My greatest moments didn't come from my greatest moments. My greatest moments came from my greatest defeats. Because it was during my defeat that I had to find a way to get back up. You're going to need some energy. You're going to need something that's so powerful. You're going to need something with real life happen. You're going to need some energy that can get you going and get you through this. And I'm telling you, the way to ignite the dream is you got to shut out every single thing. And you got to believe I am the greatest. This is what you do. You are built for this. You would just believe that your day coming. That the sacrifices you are making today, they're going to pay off. But if you do not believe, it ain't going to happen. Keep fighting in the midst of the struggle. Keep fighting. Keep thinking positive. You only lose when you quit. And so life normally breaks you because when it hits you, you weren't ready. But if you stay ready and you stay plugged up, when you hear bad news, it don't break you because you already energized. Today might not be the day, but soon it will be my day and I will recycle my pain. When you ain't got nothing left in your tank, 
You got to think about the people in your life that you're doing this for. And then if you can think about them, you can go one more mile. You can go one more day at work. So the days I want to hit that alarm clock, I think about my why. I can't stop. I can't get tired. I can't give up. I can't give in. My mama counting on me. My wife is counting on me. Listen to me. I wish I could tell you it's going to get easier. I wish I could tell you that if you just keep going, the weight is going to get lighter. I wish I could tell you that, but that's not the truth. The truth is you got to find something within. You got to find something within and that's got to push you and that's got to elevate you and that's got to drive you and that's got to move you. And when you find your why, you find a way to make it happen. It'd be one thing if life was like NASCAR. When you only have one lap left, they wave the white flag to let you know this is the last one. This is it. If you can make it around here, your race is done. But life doesn't wave a white flag. So then we wave our white flag, not even knowing that just around the next turn, just around the next sacrifice, just if you can make it through this season, just if you don't give up in this trial, see, the reason you can't stop is because you might be so close. Wouldn't it be a shame for you to quit when you're this close? Wouldn't it be a shame for you to walk away when you come this far? Wouldn't it be horrible for you to bail out when you're just this close to victory? You can't walk by what you see. You can't give up because it doesn't feel good. You can't let people talk you out of it. You can't let your emotions stop you from moving forward. Keep believing. Keep moving. Keep marching. Keep crawling. Keep inching. This might be the take. This might be the one.